Smithfield business owners are fired up and demanding a better explanation. I wasn't very happy about this. Very happy about it, that's for sure. They say town employees removed their feather signs from the front of their businesses without any warning. We were in the assumption that it was a, th a theft. Charles Vaughn is the owner of Vaughn Tech, a computer and repair service company. A marked vehicle just rolled up here, took it, and next thing you know, he's driving down the street with my property in the back. Stephen Respis is the owner of Affordable Auto Repair. He got in his car and followed the driver. If they're illegal, then it is what it is, and we'll remove them. Let us know. Give us the right. Town manager Brian Thrower says town council is making it a priority to enforce the sign ordinance. He says in an email, bandit, feather, and all other types of temporary signs in the right-of-way detract from the aesthetics of the community and are a traffic hazard because they limit driver visibility. He goes on to say all signs approved through a permit process must be on private property and may not be placed within the right-of-way. And it's not even about the sign, it's about the principle of, you know, you, there's due process. However, these business owners believe their signs were not in the right-of-way. They say they have the maps to prove it. So it was on private property and it was stolen by the town. I, I, I firmly believe that. Vaughn says based on a geographical information system map, the town had no right to move his flags. He now wants town leaders to explore different options and take a hard look at the current ordinance. You can't just trample on people's rights and expect to, and expect to walk away with it. I, I will stand up for what I believe in. To prevent this from happening again. In Smithfield, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.